Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be painting the three treasure chests from Hero Quest. This is going to be the easiest paint job you'll ever do in your life. First colour up is going to be broadsword silver. We're going to use this to paint in all the strapping around the sides of the treasure chests. I'm going to leave the hinges, the carrying handles on the sides and the locking mechanism on the front. I'm going to paint those with bronze. This can be a bit time consuming. Uh, just take your time. Be as neat as you can. Remember that we're always going to repair any mistakes we make. Just like all the other furniture pieces in Hero Quest, I think these benefit from being batch painted. So paint all three at once. Get it out of the way. Now I'm going to use white to touch up some of the mistakes that I've made. We all make mistakes, so don't try and be perfect. I mean, be perfect if you can be, but very few of us, if any, are. I also recommend, especially if you're new to painting, that you start with the easy items, such as these treasure chests. Leave the miniatures until you've painted all the furniture. The furniture is a good base for you to learn how to paint and to gain a bit of confidence before you move on to the miniatures. Again, because there's three of these, this is quite time consuming. Just take your time. And now for the bronze colour that I'm going to use to paint the handles on either side of the chests and on the lock mechanism on the front. You could have done these in the silver colour quite easily. It's entirely up to you. I chose just to use a third colour because why not? Again, just take your time here. We're going to get the white back out again after we've done the bronze, just to make sure that we don't have any uh, overspill where we don't want to. And that's the three of them completed. The next colour up is going to be white again. I'm going to use that just to patch up any areas that the bronze hit that we didn't want it to hit. The third and final colour is going to be our chosen brown. Again, I'm using ruddy brown from Army Painter Speed Paints. You don't need to be super careful when you're using this brown paint. Any uh, Slight mistakes you make will just look like staining on the metal work, so it's not about then. I am going to shut up now, however, though. There's about two minutes of me painting this, so I'm going to leave you with the Amiga, Commodore Amiga theme tune to the Hero Quest game. It was done on a piano, and I think it's beautiful. Let me know what you think.
Now it's time for varnishing. Obviously let the models dry first before you pull the varnish out. I do recommend that you do use a decent quality matte varnish. You can use gloss varnish. Gloss varnish will be more durable but it does have that horrible gloss effect to it. You can also use a gloss varnish and then go over it with a matte varnish but I don't think there's any need to. You're painting uh, HeroQuest furniture. We're not you know, painting masterpieces here. And that's it. Job done. As you can see, I think they look dead on for what they are. If you wouldn't mind clicking the like button and the subscribe button, I would appreciate it very much. Thank you for watching.